All right, boys. <laughs> you know what time it is, baby. Buckle up. It's 2024, brother. Get on in here. We got the cashless society today. It looks like things are kind of moving that direction. I don't want to get too woo, far out there, get too kooky with it. But uh, let's have some fun. And if you're new here, welcome. Get on in here, bro. Or sister, whatever. Uh, this guy's funny. This dude's actually a comedian, but he makes a lot of sense. Luckily, we're moving to a cashless society where the only payment methods accepted are going to be bank cards. And that requires you to keep your money in banks because otherwise your money is useless. <laughs> Can't use it. So if I'm hearing you incorrectly, it sounds like the more we let centralized banking control our money, the better it works out for us. Probably. All right. Well, I'm going to go take the few remaining aspects of my life that are decentralized and put them in the hands of centralized powers so I can cure my sovereignty. You, my friend, are well on your way to owning nothing and being happy about it. Yep, centralization is the key to all happiness and suffering. <laughs> Paul. <sighs> he goes, mm hmm. That was rich. Oh. Sorry about that. Lost my top a little bit. Okay, a little showmanship here. Upward and onward. <laughs> Makes all the sense to me. Politicians around the world are trying to gradually reduce the usefulness of cash until they can eradicate it completely. It scares the hell out of governments to have people in control of their own money. At which point you should really ask yourself, what kind of government is that? If we go to a future where digital cash is the only form of cash that exists, and I think we're heading in that direction very, very fast. I think within 20 years. You know what's kind of funny about that? Be real with you. Be, be real with me. Don't lie to me. Don't bullshit me, okay? You'd only be lying to yourself. Uh, how many people carry cash on them? For real. I do. Guilty. I try and pay with cash as much as possible. Okay? I've always been the cash daddy. Um, cash is king, right? Anybody? Okay? Off with his head. That's what they're trying to do, trying to kill the king. And um, I think it's important, and I think we are moving in that, that way. Because how, how often do you hear people go, I never carry cash. <laughs> cash? <laughs> what? Not to mention, like, everyone's kind of, no offense, I'm not saying you're stupid, but a lot of people are kind of, you know, like it's too much work for them to hand somebody a $20 bill and get change back. Like, I literally had a cashier recently struggle with giving me change. I was like, it's 250 She was like, what? I was like, the change. I just said, whatever, you'll figure it out. <laughs> it's a true story. There's uh, people who grow up 20 years from now will never see cash unless they visit a museum. Cashless society. 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 Fascist dystopia where every... You can make a song out of that. Someone should sample that if you make music. Every transaction you ever made. That's nice. Do you imagine that? Just bank accounts emptied. You know what I mean? Like, in order to rob the bank of Jack Morgan, which I do have one of those, aka I just have cash, um, you know, you'd have to physically come and rob me. You would literally have to actually rob me. So that's pretty cool. True that Homeland Security flags every withdrawal? Well, that would make sense, I suppose. Seems the only time folks use cash nowadays is for something funny. Now, is there a question hiding in there somewhere, Tommy? Could you imagine? Like, first of all, if it went fully cashless, you wouldn't even have an ATM, so that kind of doesn't make any sense. Um, unless they just... Could you imagine that, though? You, like, are holding a $20 bill, cop pulls up, starts questioning you about 20 bucks. That would be... 
That's awesome. I love it. If you're new here, I like to read you guys' comments throughout the videos from previous videos. Keep it fun. Keep it light. Keep it loose. 2024. Who wants more? You know what I mean? This guy goes, stack physical gold and silver, boys. Um, <laughs> the, the funny part about that is I only own a little bit of gold, um, but most people can't even stack actual paper. Just paper. Just keep cash on them. So, having people stack gold and silver is just like a... Eh, it's sad. It's a joke. That's what it is. Filling up your ride. You head into the store to pay... This goes, our future. This is what a cashless society will look like. Are you ready? Be prepared. You're fucked. <laughs> That's fun. Pay. $77, please. Says the cashier. You pull out $80 in cash and slap it on the counter. Sorry, sir. No cash. We only take cards from now on. With a grumble, you pull out your debit card and swipe it. Thank you, sir. Just so you know, a note on your credit says you're almost up to your $80 limit in gas for the week. You're getting close to your government allotted carbon emissions for the month. Walking out of the store, you... <laughs> Could you imagine that, though? Just think about that for a second. It's like you work all, you, you work your dick off, right? Or your tits off, whatever, whatever you are. And then you can't even spend your money. It's perfect. I love it. Walking out of the store, you wonder what the heck he was talking about. You drive to your next errand. Along the way, you notice a long line in front of an ATM machine. You stop to check it out. People are walking away from the ATM in frustration. You stop and ask what's going on. Oh, those machines, they stop giving out cash. You were told. Now you feel that little twinge of fear in your gut. You know the feeling? You knew things were getting bad, but surely things were not that bad. You check your phone. You check your phone. Holy shit, we're screwed. <laughs> this guy goes, my parents would tell me we work, we work so we could have no, nice things. He goes, I work now and realize I'm just working for food. Yeah, that's, that's like what it's going to... If it were to go to that dystopian society, I don't mean to get all like, wee -oo, conspiracy and like the government's after us. But um, sometimes it does feel that way. Uh, just to be honest, just, you know, to be real. Got to be real. You know what I mean? The world elites plan on implementing a cashless society with a one world digital currency for... This one's trippy. ...total control over the population. And I'm going to show you some of the predicted programming that has been telling us what the one world currency will be. Now, this is the cover of The Economist in 1988. And there is a... 1988. Get ready for a world currency. They weren't saying digital currency, though. I will say that. But 1988. It's been just like... Well, well, predict... Just being shoved in your face. Just cash is bad. You know, just... You know, I never carry cash, <laughs> you know? A lot of things to dissect here. First, it says, get ready for a world currency. And as you can see, the cash is burning right here and the phoenix is rising from the ashes. It symbolizes new beginnings, AKA the new world currency. Now in the middle of the phoenix, you are gonna find the logo for XLM or Stellar. If you guys didn't know, XLM or Stellar is a digital currency. Which, what are the chances of that? That's rich. I love it. Uh, that, but just goes to show you how long they kind of been planning this crap. I mean, it's right there. I didn't make it up, you know. Um, anyways, this guy here is Sawyer. He's uh, 21. And uh, thanks to you guys and everybody who's a part of the Patreon and everyone who donates money. Um, I have now hired an editor and a filmer to help me do more stuff and edit short form stuff. And, and it's not much editing here. I do one take on this. But editing in like short form sense and putting it to other platforms. But I asked him what he thought about the Cashless Society as a 21-year-old, and here's his take. What's your take if everything went straight to no cash and people are just like, ding, paying with their, with their Apple Pay or only credit cards? Do you, do you, as a 21-year-old, what's your take on that? And do you use Apple Pay? Uh, I don't use Apple Pay. I also don't Me know neither. too much because I'm only 21. But um, You're just like, like, I don't care. Yeah, no, it's not that I don't care. I definitely think it's important because I know like... Um, 
this is gonna sound dumb because I really don't know, but I know like technically like like let's say if we don't have like cash payment like that could technically like really affect the way like inflation stuff rises right because like the balance yeah like, i didn't even think changes. i didn't even think about that and then like there was like the whole thing you know where like where like jfk wanted like um all cash to be backed up by like gold yeah so that like, they dropped inflation. it and they took that away yeah so like to prevent inflation so i think if like you took away cash something bad could happen like that where it could get out of control well they're already doing it they just make up numbers on a screen yeah, because it's all it's yeah. Like, it's just money yeah. now. It's just numbers on a screen. Exactly, because I'm That's a because I'm a cash I'm a cash guy. I try and spend yeah. cash everywhere I go. It's true. And you work in the restaurant business too. You no, know, you know. Yeah, so you know we, like, we're the cash daddy. Yeah. <laughs> but here's here's my thought on this. Right, there's that old saying called "cash is king." Well, if they get rid of cash, it's just like off with his head. Off with your head. Um, yeah, it's true though. And I know he, he was saying like, this might sound stupid, but to be fair, I feel like most of us, including me, like, I really don't know what's going on. I, I'm just trying to get by like most people. You know what I mean? We, a lot of us just out here playing pretend. I really don't know. Uh, but I do know one thing, like if we get to a point where you can't, you, you have to use your phone for Apple pay or you, you literally can't use cash. Like. I don't think that's a good thing. It's like, tell me if I'm tripping. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm bugging out. It's game over. China is pretty much a cashless society. I just tried to buy water at a 7-Eleven and I use WePay and you know, you connect your credit card, but it is like hit or miss if it works here. I don't know why, but uh, I was having, you know, trouble. You know, I had a hundred won in my, you know, pocket and I'm like, hey, I'll just pay cash. They would not accept the cash for the goods. How much you want to bet if the internet went down, right? How much you want to fucking bet they'll take cash? Guarantee it. And uh, it's just funny because I, I, I've been to places several times where it's like, oh, our credit card machine's down. Well, guess who's got cash? Jack does. Nobody else in line has any cash whatsoever. I mean, how many times, it's like programmed in our heads now. Like, how many times do you hear people go, I never carry cash. It's like they're proud of it. But they don't even realize what they're being proud of. That's the funniest part. It's like too hard to do math. <sighs> this one's good, though. Pay attention to this. This is the reason why banks are trying to get rid of cash so desperately. Let's take this as an example. You go to your barber and you pay him $20 in cash. All $20 go to him. Your barber goes to a car wash and pays with the $20 bill you gave him. The car wash owner gets all $20. The car wash owner buys some groceries with that $20 bill. All $20 go to the shop owner and so on. With cards, it's different. Your bill at the barber is $20. The bank takes, for example, 1.25%. He pays with card at the car wash. The bank takes another 1.25%. It, it, it's perfect. Because with this, right, there's no... I could pass this around five times and nobody's got to know about it, right? But with the card or the phone, it's... it's Okay, for instance, I go and I buy this to resell this water, right? So when I buy this from the person, I pay sales tax and then they pay sales tax when they bought it and then they pay tax for selling it to me. Then I buy this and I sell it to somebody else, right? Now I'm paying tax for my profit and then they're paying sales tax. Yeah, it gets even better. Then there's a charge for the use of the credit card. It's perfect. It's a small world after all. Um, this guy goes, we live in an interesting time when a YouTube comedian makes complete financial success. Uh, sense. <sighs> Love it. It's true though. I'm, what can I say? I'm good at calling bullshit. Oh, in China, for example. Oh, we've got Jay Peterson from downtown with another hot take. God, this is going to happen here, I think, too. Although maybe people will fight it. If a traffic camera catches you jaywalking in China, the digital ID system has you. It has your blood now, it has your genetic code, it has your photograph. It can identify how you walk, so even if you can't see a face, you can be picked up by gate. It will convict you of jaywalking and take money out of your bank account with no intermediating judiciary at all, and show a picture of you to the people in the neighborhood so they... <sighs> First of all, we're still handing out tickets for jaywalking. It's a bit excessive. China's next level, dude. But then on top of that, they scold you in public. 
guy. That is amazing. I know that you have jaywalked and reduced your social credit score. Mm. And if your social credit score falls below a certain level, then you can't buy drinks from a vending machine. You can't play video games. You can't go on a train. You can't get out of your 15-minute city. All that's already in place in China. No one ever... That's perfect. Like, I'm going... I'm moving to China. Like, hold on. I, I'm going to look up uh, flights and apartments. No, but... Okay. But here's where we get to the Apple Pay shit, where I'm really not a fan of it. But let's let this guy talk about it, because he loves it, and he lives by it. He actually talks about how good the Apple Wallet and Apple Pay actually is. This is my wallet. I barely ever use it, because everything is in my Apple Wallet. My Nectar card, my debit cards, everything is in there. And all I have to do is just double tap my power button, get the face ID... And I'm in. And I can pay for everything that way. It's so good. In <sighs> Let me read this comment first. Hold on. Everyone I see appears to be doing good until you realize 95% of them are financing everything, including their phones. Wow. Yeah. And here's the best part, right? This phone here. Okay. It's like, if you just have everything on this phone... Like, I don't have to charge my my dollar bills. You know what I mean? I don't have to, like, plug them in at night. You know what I mean? There, there doesn't have to be an internet connection. The only connection that it needs is my hand to here. And not even. If I wanted to, I'd just be like, go in my back pocket. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? So... Anyways, I just thought that was rich. I do not understand this Apple Pay phenomenon. And another thing, too, I've noticed since I, I, I live hood adjacent, so I'm always kind of in shady areas, and I, I always notice something. I work in a very affluent neighborhood. Nobody pays with Apple Pay. No one. But where I live, a lot of people use Apple Pay. Please. I don't fucking understand. If you use Apple Pay, please tell me why it's so great or what the what's actually going on because I don't get it. Okay, so here's how Apple Pay actually works. After you add your credit card, your debit card to your device, this information is sent over to the bank to ensure that your account actually exists. A token and a token key are then generated. It's stored on your device in an NFC chip, a small little location in particular called the secure element. So the next time you go to scan to pay with Apple Pay, after it authenticates you, what happens is it will get the secure element will generate a dynamic cryptogram, yeah. which will then be used to verify that you have the proper funds and that you are who you say you are. And it does all this authentication to make sure that you actually can make this purchase and then voila. Wow. I learned absolutely nothing from that except for that. You need your face to say it's you so that you could pay somebody. It's like, I don't need to, like, I go, hey, Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> nice to meet you. Later, buddy. Anyways, but that's just something I've noticed is it's it's literally only in, like, certain areas that I, I like, and I don't even think they realize it, especially in, like, um, hood areas. And don't take any offense to this. It's just the truth. Like, it just, it is what it is. And, um, and it doesn't make any sense to me too. Cause if you think about all the rappers, they're all talking about like, they got stacks and, 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 you know, stacks of cash and bands. You never, I never heard one rapper ever go, I got Apple Bay, bitch, ding, ding, ding. Like never. This guy goes, great video. Some people are waking up to this shit. Sadly, most people are sheep and will just keep doing this. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, I mean, I have faith in society except for if it gets to this point here, where you're scanning your palm, I'm clocking out. I'm done. You know what I mean? Here, take a hit. It's been a good life. 2024, so much more. I love it. And once it gets to this point, man, I'm tapped out. But this right here, the little ding, ding, this is nothing more than get rid of this and go like that. And then plug this into your ass, into your butthole. Boop. And just be your phone. Be one with the, uh, the internet. Or like put a chip in you or something. I don't want to go too conspiracy here. But like let's be realistic. Like this. Look at this. I'm not tripping. 
You know what I mean? Like, imagine seeing that in public. <laughs> like, anyways, I think making money on the internet's important. I actually made a said that recently. I think everyone needs to learn how to make money in the real world and then money online. I think it's important, right? And I had somebody say, "This is the fucked up part." Let's, we're going to end on a deep note here. <sighs> So if you really think about it, I had a comment. The guy goes, not everybody can make money on the internet. And I said, well, I, I, you know, I didn't respond to him, but I said, I hate to tell you this, but everything is hooked up. Like you can't survive without this phone. Like, I mean, you can, you know, like, I guess, I mean, even homeless people have phones. See what I mean? Like you literally need this. Like every business has to make payments through the bank. Like nobody's walking around paying 10 grand cash anymore, putting $100,000 cash on a house. Um, and even if they were, they'd have to go to a bank and turn it digital. Like we're already kind of there, but the moment they get rid of this, get rid of the quiche, it's, it's capiche, capiche, capush, kapash. It's game over, dude. Um, they've got us by the dick, the balls. Um, you know, everything's going to cost an arm, a leg and money. That's what it's going to get to. Anyway, shout out to everybody who's donated, really helped the channel. Forever Stapleton, Tiffany, Walking Life, Keegan, uh, Ty Griffith. I really appreciate that. All my Patreon members, um, totally stoked. And um, this is all going to help out. All this money you guys are donating are going to go to the editor, make have more fun for you guys, make more stuff. Anyways, you guys leave your thoughts on the whole thing. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy kook in a red leather jacket on the internet. I don't know. Uh, 2024, so much more. Anyways, enjoy your uh, new year. And God, that was that was spectacular. I love it. It's perfect. It's a beautiful world. <laughs>